Right, Mark, have we got the tinsel? Check. Brilliant. What about Christmas jumpers? Uh, no, but I saw one of the contestants wearing one. Perfect. Uh, fake snow? Uh, we'll just stick special effects on. Brilliant Fine. idea. Yeah. Uh, what about the random bit before the show starts where the presenters are explaining that it's a Christmas show? It's probably this bit, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's this bit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, we're all set. <laughs> Shall we just eat mince pies? That sounds like a wonderful idea, Mark. Brilliant. Can you hear that? Just start without us. <laughs> Hurry up, boys! You can't miss the Copycat's Christmas special! In the nick of time, here are your hosts, Sam and Mark. We made it! Hello! And Merry Christmas! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to Copycat's, oh. the game show where copying is good. You know what else is good? Christmas! Yeah! <laughs> so you know what we did? We decided to throw a special Copycat's Christmas party. It's not just a normal show with some tinsel. No. No, it's no, definitely, definitely not. not. You know, the thing I love most about Christmas is giving a special present to the special people in my life. Thanks, mate. You shouldn't have. Thanks. No, not you. No. I'm talking about you. This year I bought you pants. Again? Mate, you need oh, them. I you need them. I've seen yours. Oh. Uh, I'm talking about something only our two teams have the hope of finding in their Christmas stockings, and that is the Copycat's Trophy! Oh, that is a cracking present. What are we waiting for? I reckon we should meet today's team. Let's do it! All right! <laughs> all right, over here we've got Ava's team. You all right? Yeah! Merry yeah. Christmas! Merry Christmas! Ah, it's such a nice time of year. <laughs> Ava, your team captain. Yes. So, would you like to introduce the gang, please? Well, I'm Ava, the team captain. This is my little brother, Alex. Behind Alex is my two drama and dance teachers, Lauren and Marion. And then this is my dad, Paul. And this is my best friend, Elsa. Lovely. It is lovely to have you all here. Are you excited for Christmas? Yes! yes. More importantly, are you excited for copycats? Yeah. Yes! Oh, yeah! So, uh, Ava, who do you think is going to shine in your team today? I think we're all going to do really well, hopefully. You... Okay, but that's I think good. Elsa, she's got skills in all of them, definitely. Oh, really? <laughs> you got skills to pay the bills? <laughs> 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 all right. Well, the best of luck. It's going to be a great show. Give it up for Ava's team, everyone! <laughs> Over here, we've got Kira's team. Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Guys, before we go any further, you could have made an effort. Wow! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look fantastic. Uh, Kira, team captain, would you like to introduce the rest of the gang, please? Um, I'm Kira, the team captain. This is Faye, um, our fitness coach. This is Theo, my stepbrother. This is Kyle. My cousin, this is me on my ballet teacher, and this is Lara, my best friend. Uh, are you looking forward to any specific game in particular? Yeah, I think we're looking forward to the mime because we've got Kyle. <laughs> oh, Ky oh, Kyle, well, they're bigging you up for the miming. You're a good actor. <laughs> oh, the pressure, the pressure. <laughs> oh, the pressure! <laughs> well, the best of luck. Merry Christmas, it's Kira's team. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Kyle looks like he's rich. I know. He looks like he works out, man. <laughs> he does, he does. Uh, it looks like our teams are ready to show off their artistic, dramatic and musical copying talents to try and win as many points as possible. Not forgetting that they can win even more points when they take on the copycat challenge. Now, we need to figure out which team is going to go first. Now, normally, we toss a coin, but as it's Christmas, let's decide with a pull of a good old Christmas cracker. Come on, captains, come over here. Excellent, come over here. All right. OK, ready? After three. One, two, three. Oh! I think that means that Kira's team are going first. Let's play copycats. Woo! Well, I cannot wait to see Kira's team display their artistic talents with the aptly named Quick on the draw. Kyle, I've got three cards in my hand. Okay. You're going to pick one of these cards. You're then going to have ten seconds to draw whatever is on that card for the player next year, and then so on and so on down the line. There's a maximum of 50 points to be won in this round, but as we pass it back down the line, you will lose ten points for every incorrect answer. Do you all understand? Yes. 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 Fantastic. Yes, the best of luck. Copycats, are you ready? Yes! yes. In that case, let's close the doors. Ooh, Kyle. <laughs> okay, we have got blue, pink, or green. Which one would you like, mate? Blue, I thought pink. Oh, I guess you're green. Okay, have a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you can draw that? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, <laughs> let's hope that means yes. <laughs> OK, ready, steady, draw. Off you go, mate. OK, Kira, your turn. OK, hey, Laura, your turn. Try and copy. Leo, your turn, mate. OK, hey, Faye, your turn. about this one, actually. For a maximum of 50 points, Mia, any idea what Faye was drawing there? A uh, walking stick. <laughs> it's a very, very good guess, but unfortunately, it's not the answer that I've got on the card. Let's open the doors for 40 points. A, a hockey stick. Yeah. It's not a hockey stick. Let's open the door for 30 points. Theo? A sleigh. It's not a sleigh. I'm sorry, we've got to be so specific. Let's open the door, Laura. A shooting star? <laughs> it's not a shooting star. Kira. Is it a sledge? Yay! <laughs> so sorry, we have to be so, so specific. But well done, you're off the mark. You got yourself 10 points. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Elsa, we've got two cards left, blue or pink, which one would you like? Blue, please. Take a look. Becky, you can draw that? Yeah. Awesome. You have got ten seconds. The best of luck. Ready, steady, draw. <laughs> Marry the Elsa. Your turn. Alex. Paul, your turn. Time is up. Right, stop drawing for a maximum of 50 points. Lauren, what's the answer we're looking for? Is it a candy cane? Yay! <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> oh, nice work, guys. Great start to the show. You get yourselves the full 50 <laughs> points. <laughs> So, after that festive quick on the draw, are Kira's team on a slippery slope or did Ava's team give a sweet performance? Let's look at the scores. Mr D, Merry Christmas. What could there be? Ah, oh, Merry Christmas to you two boys. After quick on the draw, Ava's team have 50 points and Kira's team have 10 points. The next round is guaranteed to be tough for our teams. If they want to win the points, they'll need to handle the pressure of the Christmas Copycats Challenge. And because Kira's team won the cracker pull, they are first to face the challenge. Now, Ava's team, to be fair, and so that you don't get a sneaky peek of any points that will be unwrapped, ha <laughs> ha Christmas fun. Sorry. Go and have a mince pie, will you? See you later. Bye. Put your feet up, read a magazine, do whatever you do at Christmas. Oh, unwrap your presents and stuff. Yeah. Now, Kira, as team captain, you now need to select two people to face the awesome Copycats Challenge, with a Christmas twist, of course. But before you take your pick, let's find Find out what the challenge is, Mr. D. What could it be? The towers. Two players must stack six cubes of different colours and sizes by copying the order shown on the screen. Cubes must be stacked in the building zones, and 30 points are scored for every tower that stays standing for two seconds. Good luck. <laughs> OK. 
OK, Santa's little helpers, it's Towers time. Kira and Kyle, you are about to play. You ready? Yeah. Oh, you look ready. In three, <laughs> two, one, go! Yeah, they do look ready. From Kira's team, okay. stacking our Christmas presents, our Christmas cubes, our Kira herself, team captain Good. and cousin Kyle, that is. And they're sorting out the presents, aiming to copy the order of colours you can see on the screen behind them. Doing well, following the advice from the rest of the team. Almost there. Okay. Stand clear. And the tower has to stand yes. for two seconds. It did. That's good news. Let's make a second tower now, shall we? They move the pile of presents across to the other building zone. Fetch the others. You're going to need those. Don't leave them over there. This is where you need to have got the balance right from early on. And if you haven't, the tower will be unsteady. That's the last thing we want. And it has to stay standing for two seconds. Good advice from Theo. Okay, that's it, are. that's it. Let it Get go. Get the balance Leave right, it. and it should work, and it does! Yes. Come on, come on, you did really well. This is very fast. Let's try for a third tower now. Best to get all the presents within easy reach. Get them all together, and then making the tower doesn't take so long, you see? This is going really well. 25 seconds. And we're almost there. 20 seconds left. One or two to fetch from the other side. And let it go. Does this work? Brilliant. Yes, it does. Wow! 12 seconds left. Go for one more. Does no harm. But sort yourselves out, you two. <laughs> Quickly as you can. Oh, time's up. Oh, so close. So close. Come on, Armour Guy. Well done. Congratulations. We'll add those points from the challenge to your total after the third and final round. Remember, Ava's team still have to play and the scores from the Copycats Challenge can make all the difference in deciding which team goes to the ballroom. Let's hear it one more time for Kira's team. <laughs> Welcome back to the game, Ava's team. Let's play Mime Time. Mariam. There are three cards here. You're going to pick one. You will then have ten seconds to mime whatever is on that card to the player next to you, which is team captain Ava. Ava will then pass it on to Lauren and so on and so on down the line. Now, remember, in this round, you need to be as silent as a mouse if you want Santa to bring you the points for Christmas. <laughs> OK? So silent performances. Copycats, are you ready? Yeah! Awesome. In that case, let's close the doors. Right, Marion, we've got blue, green or pink? Green. Take a look. Reckon you can mime that? I think so. Awesome, you've got ten seconds, the best of luck. Ready, steady, mime. Here we are. All right, Paul. Elsa, your turn. Up, stop miming. Right, come on, I've got a good feeling about this one. Alex, for 50 points, what's the answer we're looking for? Snowball fight. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice work, guys. That's what we need. Well done at the end of mime time. You get yourselves the full 50 points! Yes. <laughs> okay, lovely Mia. I've got pink or blue. Which one would you like? I'm going to go for pink. Okay. Okay. Yeah, do you reckon mm -hmm. you can do it? Yes. Well, the best of luck. Ready, steady, mime, off you go. Okay, Theo, your turn. Okay, Faith, your turn. Your turn there. 
Saint Laura. Hey Kira, your turn. Okay, stop miming. To say, well done. Fantastic all the way down the line, but for a maximum of 50 points, Kyle, what are we looking for, buddy? I'm going to go for wrapping a present. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Brilliant, you're the maximum 50 points. Merry Christmas! So after mime time, will Ava's team be having a snow ballroom fight, or do Kira's team have this all wrapped up? Time to check out those scores. Mr D, what could they be? Well, Sam, after a festive mime time, Ava's team have 100 points, and Kira's team have 60 points. Wait! Things are getting serious again now, because it's time for Ava's team to take on the Christmas Copycats Challenge. Ava's team, are you ready to try and add some Christmas cheer to your overall score? Yes! Yeah. Beautiful. Fantastic. And Kira's team, so that you don't get a sneaky peek of the challenge, we're going to send you off. Go and munch on them selection boxes. Go on, Ooh, off you go. Lovely. See you later. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Right, Ava, as team captain, you have to select two people to take on this Christmas Copycats challenge, but before you do that, I'm sure you'll want to see what it is. Mr. D, what could it be? The Towers. Once again, two players must stack six cubes of different colours and sizes by copying the order on the screen. 30 points are scored for every tower that stays standing for two seconds. Yes, it's Towers time. Team Captain Ava, I see that you've chosen Paul and Elsa to take on this challenge. Are you confident in their ability? Yes. Awesome. The best <laughs> of luck. We're all rooting for you in three, two, one. One, go! And there is the pile of Christmas presents. Looking lovely, isn't it? Building as many towers as they can. Elsa, Ava's friend, and Paul, Ava's dad. Oh, they have to rearrange those presents, copying the order of colours you can see on the screen. Trouble is, the presents are all different sizes. That's work, though. Brilliant! We're off to a good start. On we go. Some wise words coming from the rest of the team who've been helped from the side. That's allowed. That very large orange one is going to be near the top. Look, it's tricky. Get the balance right, and it can work. Excellent. Tower number three. Gosh, she's so fast. They each carry the number of presents across to the building zone there. That saves time, that does. Picking up the others now. Look at this. Very good work. And still 35 seconds left. Yes! Built three already. Well Try for a fourth one then. This come is on. Great. Come on. 30 seconds on the clock. Quickly as you can. <laughs> Look where the orange one is now. In yellow. Red, orange. Here we go. To get the balance absolutely right. Stand clear for two seconds. Step back, step back. Yes! One more. Come on, let's try for it. Ten seconds left. Worth a go. Come on, get yourselves organised, you two. There goes that orange one. Almost there, but not quite. Time's that up. won't count. <laughs> it's such a shame. Come on over, guys. Come on over. Uh, we will add those challenge points to your total after the third and final round and find out which of our teams have earned their place in the Copycats ballroom to try and win the ultimate Christmas gift, the Copycats trophy. Let's hear it for Ava's team, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back here as team. Let's play Read My Lips. Team, all you have to do is sing a top tune down the line for each other to copy. Simple, except you'll be wearing headphones. So even though you have to sing out loud, you can only work out what your teammate is singing by watching their lips move. There are 50 points up for grabs in this round, but as always, you will lose 10 points for every incorrect answer coming back down the line. But I've got a good feeling about this, especially with this dream belt in the first booth. <laughs> All right? Could everybody, except for Kyle, please put headphones on now? Our copycats look ready. Let's close the doors. All right, Kyle. I have got pink, green or blue. Which one would you like? I'm going to go with the first one this time. OK, have a look at that. 
you know that song? Yeah. Well, we <laughs> are yeah. we yeah. are going to play it into the yeah. studio so you can get it into your head. Yeah. So have a listen. Brilliant song. Remember, no actions. Ready, steady, sing. Off you go. Well, I wish it could be Christmas every day. Uh, uh. Where the bells start ringing and the chicken begin to play. OK, babe. Well, I wish it could be Christmas every day. Well, I wish it could be Christmas. OK, Kira. Brilliant. OK, the best of luck for 50 points. It was brilliant all the way down the line. Theo, what's the song? I wish it could be Christmas every day. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say what a wonderful bunch of singers you are? Well, well. <laughs> With some exceptions. <laughs> well done. You get the maximum 50 points. Yeah! Right, it's the team captain in the first booth. Here we go, we've got two cards left, blue or green. Blue. Take a look. Do you know that song? Yeah. Good. Well, we're going to play it into the studio as well, so have a good listen. Here we go. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. OK, the best of luck, Ava. You've got ten seconds. Ready, steady, sing. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. Nice. Marion Yonta. All I want for Christmas is you, baby. All I want for Christmas. Elsa. All I want for Christmas is you. Christmas is you. Lauren. All I want for Christmas is you. All I want for Christmas is you. All yeah. I... Alex. All I want for Christmas is you. All I want for Christmas is you. All I want for Christmas. Time's up! Nice! Okay, headphones off, everyone. Beautiful stuff. Paul, for 50 points, what do you think it is? All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Guys, that is absolutely amazing. You have got yourselves a full house, 50 points in every cubicle round. It's a Christmas miracle! Yeah! Well done. So, after three rounds, Ava's team have 150 points and Kira's team have 110 points. So, it's time to reveal the scores from the Christmas Copycats Challenge. Which team stacked up the most presents and which team will be starring in the ballroom? In today's challenge, one team scored 90 points. Very good. <laughs> a respectable score Very right good, there. very good. One team scored 120 points. <laughs> We've added those scores to each team's total. The team going through to the Copycats ballroom and playing for the trophy is... Ava's team! <laughs> Which means we have to say goodbye 
to one of my favourite teams of all time. It's Kira's team. You had a good time? Oh, yeah. yeah. You've yeah. been absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Give it up one more time. Thank you for playing oh, Christmas wow. Copycats. The Kira's team, everyone. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you later. Love those guys. Ava's team, congratulations! Yay! You have played a fantastic game so far. Are you ready for one final Copycats challenge? Yes! Awesome. awesome. It's time to play the Christmas Ballroom. <laughs> There is only one thing that stands between you and the lovely tinsel covered fabulousness of the Copycats Trophy! Ooh. All you have to do to win it is beat the ballroom! Before we open the Christmas doors and let you into Christmas, let's take a look at how you win Christmas. <sighs> the ballroom. Players must collect 20 blue balls and deposit them in the scoring cylinder before the time runs out. Any other coloured balls collected will be deducted from the total. Good luck! Oh. Oh. Good luck, team. Are you ready? Yeah! Awesome! In three, two, one, blast the ball! And we're off! Oh, look! Lauren's caught one already. Brilliant! So, representing Ava's team in the ballroom are Lauren, Ava and Alex. Come on, Ava. Come on, Alex. <laughs> Quickly as you can. In total, we need 20 of these blue balls in the scoring cylinder before the klaxon sounds. Come on. Yeah, there is, look, an orange one in there. We don't need that. That will be deducted from the total, guys. Focus on the blue ones. Time is running out. A matter now of just 10 seconds left. Quickly as you can, as many of the blue balls into the cylinder. There's another one going in, and another. But will it be enough? Time to find out. I tell you something, that looked EastEnders dog. Well, hard. <laughs> Ask your mums and dads. Right, the balls have been counted. The result has been checked and verified. You needed. 20 mm. blue balls to win this trophy. I can reveal that you collected... 14 blue oh, balls! Oh, no! Oh, commiserations! I can't believe it! Take back the turkey, tiny Tim. Christmas is cancelled. <laughs> oh, but do you know what? Do you know what? Because it's the season of perpetual hope and it's Christmas, we're no. going to give you some Copycats T-shirts. <laughs> Christmas. All right, Grinch, Merry Christmas, everyone. We'll see you next time on Copycast. Bye! Bye.